It's the little radio station in far north Texas that gives away cash at Christmas and has been a fixture in Gainesville for 73 years. It's a wonderful thing. So as is the present day custom, station manager Steve Eberhardt thought a personalized license plate would be a cool addition to their one station vehicle. I applied for it and a couple of weeks later. But in a world that communicates now with OMGs and LOLs, IDKs and IMHOs, the state told him that KGAF might mean something, too. Would you trust me to bleep you today, or do you not want to say it? Well, I've been told <laughs> that it's an acronym or a slang for social media for can't give a f***. Mm-hmm. But certainly we never intended that. <laughs> the Texas DMV rejected him twice, saying that the call letters the FCC gave them way back in 1947 amount to vulgar swear or curse words. But Monday, in downtown Gainesville at the tax assessor collector's office, a small Cook County miracle happened. Hello. Hello. It had taken weeks of complaints. I hear y'all have something for me. But Steve Eberhardt got the plates after all. Let's open them up and you can take a look at them. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. Wow. I'm so pleased. That's beautiful. Because he knew the right guy to call. Always when you're on the spot. State Representative Drew Springer, who made a call or two of his own, and then... The state approved call letter. <laughs> ...showed up with his own electric drill. I just called the government relations and says, guys, y'all need to reevaluate that. It's actually nice to know that at some point common sense uh, came into play. They're a great part of the community and I'm glad to help them. And I guess ultimately it's sure nice to have friends in high places. So KGAF, which Steve Eberhardt swears doesn't mean anything in particular, can now proudly display its letters. KGAF, the hometown radio station that BTW, can get a license plate after all. In Gainesville, I'm Kevin Reese.